The sequence in maths is a list of numbers or objects that follow a pattern. There are lots of different sequences, from the most basic arithmetic methods, such as a set of even numbers, to highly complex ones. Sequences allow us to find patterns in the world so that we can understand it more and predict behaviour. The Fibonacci sequence can be found in nature and is closely related to the golden ratio. Many everyday objects have the golden ratio as their dimensions. Some building designs and artworks make use of the golden ratio too, such as the Parthenon in Greece. It equates to an irrational number. What can you find about the golden ratio? A sequence is a set of numbers or elements, each called a term. They are connected by a rule known as the nth term. This is a formula that includes an n. It can give us every term in a sequence when we put different values for n in it. Here's a real life problem. Can you think how using the nth term can help us to find out the answer? A sequence of blue squares would be four, six, eight, and so on. As you are going up in twos, the first part is two n. Notice how you always add two, the n squares. The nth term is therefore two n plus two. The 50th pattern would be 102 blue squares, or 2 times 50 plus 2. There are two types of sequence for the nth term questions, which have to be approached in different ways. They are the common difference type and the changing difference type. The common difference type is represented like this. It applies for any sequence such as this, where there is a common difference between the numbers, in this case 4. You can always find the formula for the nth term using this. A is the first term in the sequence, in this case 3. D is a value of the common difference, here being 4. 4n plus 3 minus 4, or 4n minus 1. Can you find the nth term for this sequence? The first term is 5, so A equals 5. And the common difference is 3, so D equals 3. Using the formula, this gives 3n plus 5 take away 3. So the nth term is 3n plus 2. The changing difference type is more complicated. The formula is shown here. A is the first term. D is the first difference, the difference between the first two numbers. C is the change between one difference and the next. Can you find the nth term of this sequence? The first term is 2 so A equals 2. The first difference is 3, so D equals 3. The differences increase by 1 each time, so C equals plus 1. Putting these into the formula gives us. This becomes, which simplifies to this. The nth term is half N times N plus 3. In this video, we've looked at sequences and the nth term and seen the steps to take to find it. Can you follow the formula? And can you find the nth term for these sequences?